nervous. I feel like I should ask somebody to check my knots before I sit on this. Oh, uh, here goes nothing. A very good morning. I am starting a project today um, that I have no clue it's going to work out at all. I've been wanting to do it for a long time now. But first, I'm stopping in to Soul Free to get some coffee. Completely forgot what that was called. I figured it's as good of time as any to show you what's happening to the pool at our marina. Guess she's getting a little makeover. My project today is to create a, um, I don't even know what you'd call this. Is it like a bow seat or like, um, I don't know. It's that seat that sits above where like your anchor comes down and like your bow comes to a point. <sighs> I can't get this open. Jesus Christ. Okay. So basically, I saw Delos do it in an episode a long time ago, and I, for the life of me, can't find the episode, and they're the only people I've seen make a seat that they sit on at the bow. Oh God, Jesus, why is this so hard? Ugh. Oh, I made it! This is really thick. This piece of starboard I bought on Amazon, Essentially, I just thought maybe it would be sturdy enough to sit on at like a half inch thick and now I'm realizing maybe like a like a quarter thickness would probably have done better. And I have like a small amount of rope that I got from Blackburn Marine. Okay, let me see if I can try and talk my way through this. Okay, a rectangle, maybe half this size. And then having four holes drilled into the corner, sanding the edges of course. I would attach like a non-slip knot or something right here, 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 and here. And then hopefully suspend it to where you can sit. Maybe your legs can go over the side. Does that seem like a terrible idea? Okay, I 100,000% do not trust myself cutting this really thick piece of board. So I'm going to take it to my in-law's house and my father-in-law is going to help me with it. I just was going to try and do it with that thing. Carlos is like, I think you should take it to my parents' house. So I don't know how well this thing caught in plastic, so I'm gonna try to do it back here. Okay. Because if it if it'll damage, I don't want to damage that part. With the saw is, mm -hmm. you have to be at the point where you want the saw to be in there. No. See how this will pop? Okay. If you want to cut it, so you kind of jump on it. Look at this side here. It's a good thing I didn't cut it, huh? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Starting to miss the cold days of fall. Do I have a sounder? You do or don't? Yeah, I do. Oh, you do? Plastic, but it looks beautiful. Mm -hmm. Did you make the the, hmm? the mark for the hole? Uh, this one. There. This yeah. one's our first mark. Right here. It is very hot in this garage. Non-slip knot. Non-slip knot. Okay. Why do I have to do it twice? I wonder if I need to do this at the boat. 
Okay, I know what I'll do. So I'll make two equal amounts. And that's what I'll have for both sides. And then I can tie it at the bow. It took me 17 minutes and I'm sweating and I still don't know if I did the non-slip knots right. <sighs> Shit. I'm too afraid to try sitting on it. <laughs> Should I do it? I was gonna have Carlos come check my knots but gonna go for it so here we go it's steadying my foot you guys this is a bad idea I think this is a bad idea okay that knot is holding kind of nervous I feel like I should ask somebody to check my knots before I sit on this okay, there's nothing Yeah. All right, I'm in. I'm in, it's holding. It's very hot. I think part two of this video is going to be one, if the seat will hold me through riding the waves, and number two, if Carlos approves or he thinks this is a terrible idea with serious consequences if we're out on the water and I just happen to fall overboard and get impaled by the anchor. One thing I did learn from this experiment is it is hot as hell in Texas in August and that I need um, more work on my knot tying. <sighs> Looks pretty though. <sighs> There's no wind. It is windless and it's hot.